Right, okay, so we are given that two vectors are parallel, um, then we need to show the cross product must be zero. All right, now, so the, the, the hint is great. Uh, it says that, uh, you know, one vector is a multiple of the other. That's what it means to be parallel, algebraically anyway. Um, so great, well, let's write that down and let's just compute the cross product. This is gonna be a plug and chug as it turns out. So um, W equals KV, okay. W is K of V. So that means that uh, W1, W2, W3 is equal to KV1, KV2, KV3. Yeah. Okay, now let's compute the cross product. Um, uh, v cross W. Well, that's the symbolic determinant. See the coordinates of V are V1, V2, V3, and the coordinates of W are KV1, KV2, and KV3. And now let's write down um, what we get. Uh, so the first coordinate up here, uh, remember the way you get that is, uh, you know, you cross out the that and the that, and you look at this left over and you take the little two by two determinant. So I get V2 KV3 minus V3, uh, excuse me, yeah, V3 KV2, well that's the same thing. So uh, let me write that out. Uh, V2 times KV3 minus V3 times KV2 which of course is zero. That make sense so far? Okay. So that was just the first coordinate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So let's look at the second coordinate. Um, the second coordinate. Okay. I'm gonna uh, this, this, that. Uh, what's left over are these numbers, and we again take the little two by two determinant, and we get. V1 KV3 minus V3 KV1. Okay, well that's that's zero again, right? And then uh, third one, same story. And just for the sake of completeness, let me go ahead. And so, um, oops, uh, so there, boom, boom. These are the numbers. V1 KV2 minus V2 KV1, and again that is zero. So I get that that cross product is the zero vector. Yep. Cool. All right.